Well, previewing our trip to Port Vale this week, uh, we'll start with you know the training ground gradually starting to, to move in. It's an amazing facility. What's it like to, to, to be in here and you, how excited are you to, to start using it? Yeah, this is today like the first day I've had a look around it. Um, and we're all excited to get in. Um, obviously, it's been work, work in progress, but you know, it's, uh, it's a great facility, it's a great building, you know, everything's Everything's looking really good, so like I said, we're all excited to get in, um, and I can't wait. And how have you found your first few weeks back in Devon? Obviously, it's a place you know well, but I guess you have to reintegrate and find your feet again. How's it been? Yeah, like I said, um, everyone's made made me feel really welcome. I feel like all the new lads are, you know, been made to feel really welcome by players and, and staff and fans as well. So um, no, I'm really enjoying it. You know, it's a it's a great place to play football. You know, we travel well, so, you know, I'm really enjoying it. Um, you know, as, uh, hopefully we can start picking up some, some results soon and, and put a run together. And in your first few weeks as well, Gary's given you the, the captain's armband for a couple of games. How did that feel? Did that, some, was that something that, that you were expecting or had spoken about previously? Uh, no, I mean, he obviously he's asked, asked me to come in and, and play a, a lead role. Um, uh, like I said, you don't have to, to wear the band to be a leader on the pitch or a leader around the training ground. You want at least, you know, four or five of them really when you're playing or when you're training. So, um, yeah, like it, it's a real honour um, to wear to wear the band and lead the team out at home in front of in front of our fans for this club. So, yeah, it's you know it's a bonus for me. I really enjoyed it. Tuesday night was was frustrating, wasn't it? The performance was there pretty dominant. How frustrating is it when you play so well and aren't able to win? So that's probably the same that happened at Burton as well. Yeah, I feel like our performances, like you say, have been really, really good, really strong. We've been in control of, of games pretty much throughout the whole game. Um, you know, if you'd have come in the dressing room after, you'd have seen a real element of disappointment. Um, you know, we don't, obviously it's all right to be disappointed after a game, but we don't want to hang on to that too much. We have to Sounds cliche, but we've got to take positives and you know probably tighten up in both boxes a little bit. Um, just be a bit more ruthless if we can um, in both boxes because you know we are in we are controlling games of football really well. And performance performances and attitude and energy on the pitch is really really good. Um, so yeah, obviously we are a little bit disappointed, but we haven't really got time. You know. If, had quite a, quite a lot of games, so you know, quick turnaround again, and hopefully we can put a, put a good performance in and get a result on Saturday. Gary referenced the defensive performance on on Tuesday night it is is really good. So how does it feel that obviously as someone who's come in and only been with us for a few weeks that the defence has been the defence that you're part of, of course, has been praised. Yeah, obviously that's again a, a bonus for me. Um, I'm just. Trying to do, trying to do my bit, and the boys at the back as well, and and the keeper. You know, we've had a few different rotations in that, in that spot. Um, we've got good competition for places all around the pitch at, at the back as well. So no, it's it's great that we're being recognised for you know good performances. Um, but obviously, you know, we just want to turn these performances into wins. Head to Port Vale on Saturday, and we've spoken before about. Yes, Bert was a blip, but on the road recently we've been pretty strong. Port Vale are on a bit of a bad run themselves, but it's a game. They're a team that we know a lot about. From, from we played them in the FA Cup. I know you weren't here, but played them in the FA Cup, played them in the league earlier this season as well. Yeah, it's not an easy place to go. I don't think you'll speak to anyone and say, you know, ask them, have you did they have an easy day at Port Vale? It just doesn't really happen. Um, you know, they're high energy. Um, you know, they're a good team, strong team. So it'll be a, be a physical battle for sure. Um, you know, I feel like we have enough in this dressing room definitely to go there and dominate and, and take the points. Um, you know, we'll respect them. They're, they're, like I said, a, a good, strong team, but you know, we'll be doing everything we can to, to stop them. Something that I, I mentioned to Gary as well is the size of the pitch at Port Vale. I think, I think they called it yeah. the Wembley of the North. It is a huge surface. Yeah, it's a very, very big pitch, renowned for being a big pitch. So, um, you know, I think that can help us in a way. You know, we can make the pitch big and play our style of football we want to play. So hopefully that... Like I say, it can be a positive for us.